What is the best tempered glass screen protector for this, the Samsung Galaxy A51. I have fitted a few of these and I can honestly say my favorite one so far is this. It's the Spigen, well it's a bit bright isn't it? It's the Spigen Align Master tempered glass screen protector for the Samsung A51. I'm going to fit this in real time with you so you can actually see what this is like and, and why I think this is the best one that I've used so far. It's actually for my son's phone. Uh, this is a shot of it, a really bad out of focus <laughs> picture. My son dropped his phone and it did smash the, the glass. He dropped it from about waist heights with no screen protector on because we've, we've been through a few. The biggest problem, as you might know, for the Samsung A51 phone is that the screen's gorgeous and it has this kind of curved edge and some tempered glass screen protectors actually give you like a sachet of gel to fill the gap. You don't have to do this with the speaker and that's the first reason. But let me show you me going to the bathroom now to put this on this. Here is the Spigen tempered glass screen protector for the Samsung Galaxy A51. And this is what comes inside the box. We have a frame, some cleaning materials, a rubber, I think, for pressing down the screen to press out any bubbles. All wrapped up is the actual screen itself with some instructions there. And this is how the screen comes. Wow, that looks really smart, really well presented. There's a black frame around it, which I know will annoy some people, like my son, <laughs> because it's going to look like it reduces the screen size. And, and maybe it does by a few pixels, I'm not sure. But as you can see, it does go edge to edge. And this looks so much more solid than some of the cheaper products. But this isn't that expensive itself. Now to do this, obviously, a single speck of dust is going to completely ruin this by putting a bubble under the screen. So I'm in the bathroom and I'm gonna run some water. Apparently that helps get rid of some dust in the air. And I'm going to use the Spigen screen protector box as a base, a little workbench for me here. Let's open up the cleaning materials. There are more instructions here on the technique for removing air bubbles. Oh, it's called a squeegee. That's what this is called. It's the squeegee to get rid of the bubbles. Dust removal sticker. This is what you usually get in screen protectors, tempered glass screen protectors. A nice dry microfiber cloth and a wet wipe to really give the screen a proper clean. So let's do that now. Wow, and it's quite a generous size. Usually the ones you get in the cheaper screen protectors are a bit dried up and tiny, <laughs> but this is a proper wet wipe. Now I'm going to dry the screen and I'm going to use the dust removal sticker to just make sure everything's picked up. Next goes on the frame guide. That clips perfectly on the front. Wow, that fits so perfectly. I've used other cheaper screen protectors. They've not fit the phone, or well, they fit the phone and they don't fit the actual screen protector. So this is really good. They're not paying me. And then we're going to remove the backing, which if you've used the screen protectors before, you've probably not seen a backing like this. Well, it's rigid. And then I'm going to lay it down on the guides and then follow the instructions. So I'm going to press here at the top and then slide down so the middle pushes out the air bubbles. And I'm going to lift the guide frame and I'm going to press out all these air bubbles. I don't know if they're showing up on the camera. Ah, I've got a bit of dust there. Now the danger is you can make it a lot worse by doing this. So here goes nothing. You don't know if the dust is on the phone or the screen. Right, I zapped that one, that's good. Right, so the next thing we're gonna do is to remove this top sticker. That's just informational, really. And then, I can't see any bubbles, but there are, just in case there are tiny ones, and just to really, really super make sure that the adhesive on here spreads. And we've got good coverage. Any tiny, tiny bubbles I can't see are pressed out. So that's it, I'm really, really pleased with how this has gone. I'm just gonna rub off my fingerprints now. There are no bubbles whatsoever. What's really good with this as well, apart from meeting it up to the bezel and being friendly for cases, what's really good is that there's no hole for the camera. So you don't have to line it up with the camera. You can just go straight over the camera. And that might be something you might want to bear in mind. Maybe you do not want your screen cover over your 
camera, but this looks like it just protects it and it's you don't have to line it up. That frame was really useful. I've got this Fusion clear case. It's a cheap case, but just to show you how it plays friendly with the screen protector, or rather the screen protector accepts all cases. That is really well covered, really well protected, and no bubbles. That is a success. <laughs> There's Casper the dog. Yeah, he's giving us a, a, a woof of approval. That is a definite, definite success. Well worth the money. So the screen is on my Samsung, or my son's Samsung A51 now. It is gorgeous, no bubbles. I absolutely hate fitting screen protectors to phones and this works. This did the job and there are no bubbles. It looks great. And what I don't think I mentioned in the bathroom was the case doesn't clash with the screen protector at all, which is fantastic. If this video is helping, you can help me. I'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers so that YouTube pay me for these videos. Please, why not hit the thumbs up button or if you're feeling even more awesome, the subscribe button would be fantastic to get us one step closer to the big 1000. And don't forget the links to this are in the description below if you want to find the same screen protector. Thanks for watching and here's another video that YouTube thinks you'd like to watch.